Tonight's Positive Vibes segment is brought to you by Nescafe. Thousands of turtle eggs and hatchlings were destroyed in July when the Ministry of Environment carried out excavation works in Grand Riviere to mitigate flooding and correct a river course. The move was met with condemnation locally and internationally, with many asking just how could turtles be destroyed on a site which was designed to protect them. But now more than a month later, the Grand Riviere Tour Guys Association is taking the protection of baby turtles into their own hands, literally. The group patrols the beach from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily, keeping hatchlings in a safe area and when night falls, they release the hatchlings into the sea. Head of the group, Kevin Mohammed, says hatchlings need protection from predators. You could say in a sense, we're running a hatching daycare. We're babysitting hatchlings in the day for a very short period of time. We're saving them from being eaten by some type of predator, being a dog or a, or a kobo. We will collect them and put them in containment that, uh, that I'll show you shortly. And after the sun sets, these hatchings will be released in the safety of the dark to make their way into the ocean and continue their life. While containing the protected hatchlings is a breach of the law, the group says it keeps the hatchlings in the sand for just a few hours until it's safe. With a dedicated group of volunteers and funding coming from the Community Development Fund, the group is hoping to not only save the lives of millions of turtles, but to restore Grand Revere to its former glory, a place which protects an endangered species. Tonight's Positive Vibes segment was brought to you by